Where are the fucking spoolies? <laughs> Screaming person. <laughs> Hi everyone, so for today's masterclass, I'm gonna show you how to recreate a makeup look that I designed for Stylist Magazine. It's a really gorgeous kind of emerald green, glossy lid, beautiful orangey, corally red lip. And then I'm gonna show you a technique that I like to use to create really extreme spidery colored lashes. So I'm gonna use a nail varnish and a false lash to create that effect. So as you can see, I've bleached Betty's eyebrows and I'm just gonna begin by creating that really perfect, quite powdery base. So I'm going to be using a little bit of NC15 and this is the MAC uh, Studio Fix which is really nice high coverage foundation. So you want to get right into the eye sockets underneath and really just kind of give that foundation a good wash over everything. And now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and I'm going to take these MAC 24 hour concealers and I'm just gonna blend a little bit of that into uh, the highlights of her face which will create a really lovely matte kind of finish and then a little bit a little bit on her chin like that and around the edges of the mouth because often that area can be a little bit darker than other areas of your face so just make sure that's nice and light so next I'm gonna take a pressed powder and I'm just gonna press it into her face like this. And again, that's just gonna really enhance the kind of matteness. And I'll come back to finish the eyes at the very end because sometimes I like to do the eye makeup and then if there's any fallout, you can come back and just tidy that little bit underneath. I'm gonna move on to the eyes now. And the first thing you want to do is to take some lashes and I'm gonna actually show you a technique that I often use to color false lashes with nail varnish. It's a really great technique. You just have to be really careful not to put any nail varnish on the attachment line because that can make it become very stiff um, and they'll be very hard to apply. So what I like to do, in this case, we're gonna be using green, is to take my lashes like this, pinch them in the middle, Take your nail varnish and just paint it on like you would paint anything else. And this will give them a really gorgeous, in this case it's like a green metallic, but a really gorgeous uh, greeny effect that's actually much harder to achieve with any other product because it'll keep that really gorgeous gloss. So moving on to the eye makeup, I'm going to begin by lining, just look up for me, her eyes all the way along the waterline. This is a, actually a really nice pencil. It's, a, it's just an H&M metallic green pencil. And then I'm gonna just do her upper lid as well. I'm just using a handy little pad here to stop my fingers marking the makeup on uh, Betty's face because it's always very annoying. So the next step is to now take your green and here I'm just using this Too Faced palette. It is Too Faced, yeah. And uh, this lovely green color here. So I'm just gonna get a uh, little makeup brush and I'm gonna start blending upwards now. You can see there's a bit of fallout there. We'll tidy that up after. Really nice, nice green color. And now I'm gonna take this green. It's a little bit lighter. It's a pigment. I actually don't know where it's from but um, I'm gonna apply that just above that green area. So just take a little bit here, put it on the back of my hand, see how nice, nice and bright it is. And then I'm just gonna blend up a little bit more into the socket. So you have a just really nice kind of tonal blend. And if you begin to get too much drag, you can always change your brush and then blend that line out. And that will give you a kind of a really perfect, not too smudgy blend. And I'm going to do the same underneath. So I'm just going to go back in with this and just kind of go over the line and blend that out and connect the two like that. So the next step is to apply the lashes. Um, I actually find that this tubey glue is kind of easier to work with than the normal duo. Um, this kind of latexy one for some reason, I feel like it's a bit, a bit more adhesive. I'm going to do a line on her lash line first. And then I'm also gonna do a line 
on the actual lash and using uh, two layers of glue like that just allows for it to become really sticky. Now because these lashes have had some uh, nail varnish on, you might want to just kind of try and give them a bit of a, a wobble around because the, la the, uh, the nail varnish can make them come a little bit stiff and then apply the lashes like you normally would. While you're waiting for the lashes to set, um, I'm just going to go over the lash glue while it's still a little bit tacky, just with that um, green that I used earlier, and that will just kind of seal the line there. So just take a little kind of flat tip brush, take that green and just press it onto the lash line like that. That seals any little bits of glue that you can see. And now I'm going to paint the underside of them just where you you see her lashes just with a little bit of black eyeliner so that her lashes really kind of blend in to the nail varnish painted lash. So to do that, I'm gonna take a little fan brush. Um, you can use mascara or you can use a little bit of black track. In this case, I'm just gonna use some black track. Get it really nicely loaded and just ask your model to look up and you can get right in there and just paint the lashes. And that will create a really lovely gradient and then just get the inner corner there because sometimes you can get a little bit of a gap. There we go. And then that brings everything together really beautifully. The next stage is to add a little bit of blush into the cheek. I'm gonna use a nice kind of peachy, uh, glowy product here. So we're gonna add a little bit of a kind of glow texture to her cheeks. Just deload a little bit onto the back of your hand and uh, do that just before you begin to apply it. You want to buff it in really well. And I'm not going to add any contour because I like keeping the face feeling very soft for this look. I don't want it to look too sort of angular. This is a really fresh, lovely, soft look. Next, we're going to work on lips and I'm just going to remove the edge of Betty's lip line like that because I'm going to add a bit of red in the middle and then I'm going to blend it out really softly with a red lipstick and that will create a kind of really buffed, quite soft lip line which will make the lips look really, really lovely. So take your red lipstick. I've got a few different ones so it's sometimes nice to just hold the palette up to the eye and then you can kind of work out which one would be nicest. I think something kind of in the more orangey world could be really beautiful. So I'm going to go for something like this one and I'm just gonna pat it on the inside like that and like that. Take a big chunky cotton bud and then just start to buff that out. And I really wanna take that Q-tip over the lip line so you can get a really good kind of, it's a really good way of making your lips look quite full actually. And then I'm going to finish up the look by adding a little bit of concealer under her eyes, lightening up these brows a bit because they look a bit yellowy at the moment. And then I'm going to finish by adding some gloss on the lids to make it look really lovely. I'm just basically tidying up and putting the finish, finishing touches on the look. A little bit of lightness at the corners of the mouth just to make that lip pop a little bit more. I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow into her uh, nose uh, line here. So I'm just gonna bring it in from the inner corner of the eye, kind of where it meets the green, and just bring it down the nose a little bit, just to give her a sharper look, just a tiny bit, not too much. But I think it's nice to have a little bit of kind of sculpting that brings all the attention into the, the center of the face. So just a little bit like that. And then a little bit just under the lip line, just to accentuate the lips. Now I'm going to take my white airbrush and a little spoolie and I'm just going to really lightly just brush it through the brows like that and see how that just helps to make them feel a little bit less obvious, a little bit less yellow. And now my favourite part is applying the lip gloss at the very end. So I'm going to put some MAC lip gloss just onto the, the center part of the lips like this. Really beautiful. Bringing in those lovely glossy highlights just in the center. And then I'm gonna pop some on her lids as well. So just 
really nice. Gently tap it like that. Be careful not to take it up too high into the, uh, into the crease line, just on the lid, and then the same on the other side. So that's Betty's gorgeous glossy green eye look. I used the MAC lip gloss to create that gloss. I also used some uh, nail varnish over false lashes to create a really kind of gorgeous, thick metallic spidery lash look. Um, then we finished it with the kind of lovely corally orange red glossy lip and matte skin. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope you enjoyed watching.